In this tutorial, we will create buses with Tina. Tina lets you group similar signals into buses containing multiple wires, especially useful when connecting digital ICs with eight or more data or address bits. Let's create a digital circuit containing several bus wires. First, we place the main parts and draw the regular wires, following the instructions presented in previous tutorials. Now we select bus from the insert menu. Note that you can also start drawing a bus by pressing Ctrl B. Let's first draw the bus containing wires A, B, C, and D. To finish drawing the bus, we right click and select the cancel mode. Then, double clicking the bus, we write in its properties. In this case, the wire names are listed and separated by commas in the ID field of the bus, which can be accessed by double-clicking the bus. We press OK to confirm the properties. Now we draw the connecting wires. Each wire should have an ID, which can be set by double-clicking the wire. You can select and assign the wire identifiers easily from the drop-down list. We first draw one wire to the bus and double-click on it to set its properties. We draw the other wires in the same way. Now we'll draw another bus containing eight wires. From the insert menu again, we select bus and draw its basic form. Right clicking again, we select cancel mode, double click and write in the bus and wire properties. This time, the bus will be named D and the numerals one through eight. The number range of the wires in the bus is shown between brackets after the bus identifier. We press OK to confirm the properties. Again, we draw wires connecting to the bus. By double-clicking, we set the bus and wire properties. Note that we set them by selecting from the drop-down list. All of the connecting wires are selected in the same way. You can also edit and connect buses. Buses with the same identifier are connected automatically, even if there is no visual connection. Let's extend the second bus and add terminals to it to show the logic levels of its wires. From the insert menu again, we select bus and extend our already drawn bus. Selecting the cancel mode again, we will now add voltage pins. And connect them to the bus. We add properties from the drop down list in the same way as we did previously. All of the voltage pins are attached in the same way. Finally, let's test the circuit in Tina's interactive mode. We press the digital mode button and observe the simulation. This concludes the tutorial of creating buses with Tina.